Hey, Divine Feminine. So this is going to be a channeling session. Now I am doing this in the bathtub because I am able to channel very well when in water. I am a cancer after all. These messages are going to be, I feel, for two separate collectives, two separate uh, Twin Flame collectives on different timelines. There is one collective that is in separation and there's another one who is in early union. So first I'm going to channel some messages and then from there I'll get into some additional channel messages that I've been getting over the last few days. So let's go ahead and start. By the way, this is a timeless uh, channeled message here. I am doing this message uh, around the super moon, the buck moon that happened last night on June 13th of 2022. But we're still in that energy, especially because it was a super moon. So let's go ahead and tap in. So these are just going to be messages that come up and then I'll get into the messages I've been receiving over the last few days. Let's go ahead and start Divine Feminines. Let me go ahead and tap in. I'm seeing... First I saw a lightning bolt and then I thought about the tower in the tarot. So there could have been something that happened that tore down your foundation, tore down something that you built. However, I am hearing that the foundation was written in the sand. It wasn't written in the stars the foundation that you created at that particular time. And now, many of you are taking the actions needed to build, manifest a creation that is written in the stars. I'm also hearing that is sustainable. I'm also hearing that is the divine partnership that you were meant to be in. Now I'm also getting a message that may be triggering. And this message is, for some of us divine feminines, it was not meant for us to be in relationship with the person that we think is our twin flame or our twin flame. Sometimes we are to be with a divine partner. Sometimes we are just to be with the best person for us. I'm hearing this as a time to manifest your desires when it comes to not only love and romance, but especially the other areas of your life. It's time to focus on the areas of life in which you need to develop more. For example, if you Spend a lot of time alone indoors. It could be useful for you to socialize. If you're one who has a messy home, a messy environment, it could be useful for you to clear away that mess in order to clear away the um, vibrations that come with that. With that kind of environment. If you're one who overeats, it may be useful to work on health. What areas of life are, or what areas of life do you need to 
focus more on. I'm hearing, focus on me, baby, will you focus on me? Focusing on yourself. That's a focus, I think, by her. It's essential for you to focus on yourself. And not is it only critical for you to focus on yourself for your own health and well-being. As a divine feminine polarity in your connection, to focus on yourself is key to a healthy union. Now, a lot of us, we're likely putting the blame on the divine masculine or on the distorted masculine, on your counterpart. Without realizing that, yes, we are all perfect and we can all use a little work. Divine Feminine is just as it is essential for your counterpart, your masculine to ascend. It is equally as important for you to ascend too. And now is the time. You don't have time to waste. You don't have time to waste. So now is the time to take radical action, take radical responsibility. I'm seeing the Knight of Swords in my inner eye. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving sword. You know, the fastest, I mean, excuse me, the fastest moving knight and sword <laughs> in the town. It's time to see things clearly. It's time to align with your truth. And it's time to do that now to charge after that the knight of swords moves very quickly very impulsively so there is no time to say oh i'll wait until tomorrow let's why do today what you can put off to until tomorrow no we can't take that philosophy by the way divine feminines if you are one who is having um trouble sexually with your libido and with your sexuality in general. I intend on talking about that at the end, okay? But I may also talk about that throughout this channeling. So make sure to stay to the end, or if you want, you can fast forward there, but I'm not sure how this is going to come out because, again, it is channeling. Divine Feminines. You are ready to make the necessary changes. What is holding you back is the familiar, what you already know, quote unquote, know to be true. And really, I'm hearing that the times that others have disappointed you or let you down in order to reinforce what it is that you subconsciously felt about yourself about not being good enough or not being worthy these were situations that you created and that you affirmed within yourself be cognizant of that in order to transcend that pattern because it is not useful so why hold on to it I feel like Divine Feminines, I'm hearing that you, in your connection now and other connections or however this manifests for you, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm hearing you often wait or it's, it's typical that you wait for the other shoe to drop and you're doing that now. This is especially for those of you who are in the beginning of your union. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. What if, and this is for both collectives, what if you 
aligned with the law of assumption and just assumed the best. Blocked all, block all those lower energies, those lower vibrational thoughts out of your mind and assume the best. That's different from the law of attraction, the law of assumption. Because divine feminines, for those who this channeling is for, this is your time. This is your time. This is your season. Ecclesiastes, this is your season to grow. This is your season to ascend. This is your season to receive. Yes, there's a time to rest. There's a time to act. Now's the time to act. Now's the time to receive. There's a time to give. There's a time to receive. Now's the time to for you to receive. Also give, but now it's time for you to receive. Now you're getting your just desserts. You're getting divine justice for being the kind, the loving, the authentic, the generous, the patient, the intuitive person that you are, the respectful person, the one that always sees the best in others. I'm seeing the queen of cups in my mind's eye and the queen of cups is very loving. She's very kind. She's very devoted. At the same time, the queen of cups can be one who overgives at her own expense. And I feel as though divine mask, excuse me, divine feminines, this could be divine masculines too. This could be a way that you are marrying each other. Nevertheless, divine feminines, you have done this in the past. In the past, you have given much more than you were receiving. And this has created a wound. This has created a mistrust. This has created a perspective that divine masculines, of course, whether they be male or female, because it's just the energy, divine masculines can be female, divine feminines can be masculine, okay, or males. I'm hearing that by experiencing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results and those not happening, it's caused an energy of being jaded. Or it's difficult to believe the positive because if every time you place your hand on a hot stove, it hurts and you get burned. Eventually you realize that it's a good reason or it's a good time or it wouldn't it wouldn't serve you to keep touching the stove. I'm hearing Pavlov, the psychologist Pavlov. Divine feminines. This is a time that you've been waiting for. The time in which you have all the energies available. You have all the support available from the 5D, from your guides, from God, from spirit, from the universe, from your ancestors, from everyone. Your whole spiritual support team. You are given the opportunity right now. This is a time right now for you to shift into your highest timeline, for you to shift into the greatest version of you, how to shift or to shift into your higher, who you are meant to be. Now think about what it is that you want the most. Okay. And I am hearing that for many of you, love relationships is one of them. Healthy relationships is one of them. Reflect on who it is that you have to be in order to have your ideal relationship. Reflect on, first of all, let's go back, what your ideal relationship looks like. What does a good relationship look like, especially if you're not settling? What would you do? How would you interact with each other? Would you eat dinner at the same time? 
Are you having children? What kind of connection do you want to manifest? Will you get married or are you one that wants to just be partners? Do you want to live in California or Prague? Think about these things. What compatibilities you wish to share? What experiences you wish to share? What growth, what lessons do you wish to share with this person? Reflect on these things. And then reflect on who you need to be. What traits you need to have. What traits you need to let go of. Are you one that has an unhealthy display of emotion? Okay, well it's time to work on that. Are you one who has difficulties... And it is resistant to communication. Okay, you have to work on that in order to have a happy, healthy, interdependent, abundant, loving relationship. It's not possible to do that while holding on to extremely codependent patterns or coming out of ego or attempting to control. These things are not what manifest the type of relationship that we would all want. Yes, it can manifest a relationship. You can trauma bond. That's possible. That's a relationship, but it's not the type of relationship that would allow you to have your best life and your best experience and that will contribute to your life, that would take away. Divine Feminine, how can you give to yourself the love, the energy, the devotion? How can you give that to yourself, the devotion, the, the love, the energy that you want from another? How can you give that to yourself? That's something to contemplate. And then that's something to act on. It is time for us to shift out of the energy of codependency or addictions to people, places, and things. It is time for us to connect with our emotions, to release any lingering resentment, pain from the past, from past lovers, from past friends, from past betrayals, from past you know, feelings of abandonment. It's time to clear all those things and heal all those things. Transcend all those energies. Because we can only attract and align ourselves with what is in our vibration. What is in alignment with our vibrational field. And if we want to attract better, if we want to attract a divine partner, a divine counterpart, we must do better. It is time. There is no time to waste. The time is now. It is here. And this is for those who are in no contact. This is in separation. This is also for those of you who are in recently coming into union. The traits, the behaviors, the repeated patterns, the shadow patterns, the shadow behaviors that we weren't aware of, um, holding on to our shadow sides, the things that we weren't aware of, we have to let those things go. It is time. And yes, it may seem frightening or difficult. Nevertheless, this is what you want. These are the changes you want to make. And no, that simultaneously your counterpart is also making the changes necessary as well. There's a mirroring effect going on. 
in order to be alignment with your divine counterpart, with your divine masculine, with your divine person. I'm hearing follow their lead, which is telling me that the divine masculine collective is stepping up and stepping into their power, stepping into their strongest self. I'm seeing the strength card um, in my mind's eye and from a particular deck. And in this deck, this woman is kind of sitting in a meditative pose using, um, what is it? Um, I don't remember what it is, yantras, but when you use your hands as energetic vibrations, energetic symbols, or when doing meditation and things like that. And there's a lion there who is calmed and he's like asleep. I'm seeing a channel energy here. I'm saying divine feminine, you learning how to heal is important. To tame the feelings of anxiousness, to, to tame the feelings of anger, of resentment, control within you. And the Divine Masculine Collective is learning how to receive the results that they desire through their energy and through their behaviors. Divine Feminine, it is time to, I'm hearing follow the leader. I'm saying follow the leader, the corn album. Follow the leader, follow your Divine Masculine because your Divine Masculine is transcending. Your Divine Masculine is ascending. And I feel as though the Divine Masculine Collective, is. this is especially for those of you who are in separation. The Divine Masculine Collective is ascending at a rapid rate. Divine Feminines, it has taken us many years or it's taking us many months or it has taken us a significant amount of time in order to grow and evolve and shift and change and transcend into the people that we are now. Because you came into your masculine's life and provided the energy that was nourishing, nourishing for their soul, they are able to transcend at a rapid pace and transform at a rapid pace it's like accelerating the journey from a caterpillar to a butterfly or a chick popping out of an egg that's what i'm seeing it happens faster than anticipated and it's because you've given them that energy you've activated the dna you've given them that soul energy that inspired them to live their best lives and be the best that they can be. They know that they have not done that, have not been like that towards you in the past, and they are aware of that. Oh, take, a brief, dip, yeah, take a deep breath on that one. Release any fears that you have. Release any feelings of rejection, of abandonment. No matter what happens, you will not be abandoned. God knows the plans that he has for you. Does not plan on you being in a state of hurt. Especially with all that you have done to evolve into the person that you are now. Again, we're all perfect, but we can all use a little work. Now is the time to invest in those changes that are necessary. Learn about your communication style. Learn about your love style. Learn about your attachment style. Learn about your personality type. Learn about all these things in order to show up in the best way within your relationship, within your connection with your divine masculine because as you shift and change, your divine masculine will follow you and vice versa. The most important thing for you to do, Divine Feminine, is to focus solely on yourself what makes you happy what brings you joy what allows you to create and express your creativity what brings meaning to your life what do you have plenty of what do you have an abundance of as opposed to what you lack or what you're not getting especially from 
the person that you're perceiving as your divine masculine. Sometimes we can mistake karmics for divine masculines or false twins for real twins. We have to keep all this in mind. And keep in mind that no matter what, we're moving forward in divine and perfect ways. These things are written into our soul contracts. These healings, these changes that we are experiencing at this time. I feel like you can perceive your head to be spinning round and round like everything is spinning. Everything is spinning. But like the affinity symbol, things will come back. Like the pendulum, things will be great and then they can go back to being, or they can go into a place of negativity. However, there's all those spaces in between. Things are not black and white. Divine Feminine, now is the time to focus on how to relieve stress, anxiety, worry in a healthy way. Whether you need to punch a pillow, whether you need to talk to a friend, I'm also hearing positive actions are to exercise, are to meditate, and to ground yourself. Dancing Exercise, moving your body. Those things are very important to shift your energy and to release stagnant energies. Again, there's also a need to explore self-expression, self-empowerment, self-love, self-appreciation, self-esteem, self-confidence. All the positive traits to either pull this. Well, either way, you're going to pull those traits from within. It's just a matter of aligning with them in order to find them within to pull them outward and to embody them. What you have is already within you. Everything you need is already within you. Do not look towards the divine masculine. Do not look towards anyone else to fill any kind of void or to heal you. Because guess what? If you focus on another person to heal you, it's likely that as long as that, as long as that person, or as soon as that person leaves, you're going to feel even worse than you did before. So be mindful of this. Now's the time to focus on the amazing qualities within you and go about the near future. Move forward with childlike wonder. See things from a new perspective. See things from the higher perspective, from the highest perspective. Imagining, visualizing and imagining everything that you want manifesting for you. Now... Divine Feminines. A lot of us, especially those who are in separation, are having troubles with sexuality, with libido, with sexual expression, with um, becoming aroused. A lot of Divine Feminines are not in a place of Being in touch with sexuality, even desiring sexuality or sexual expression. I'm hearing celibacy. I'm hearing asexual. And if that applies to you, Divine Feminine, this is because of trauma. This is because of trauma. Some of you could have experienced sexual abuse at some point, which can greatly affect your view and your perspective of sex and of sexual expression. For others, there could have been some kind of sexual abuse as an adult. 
or a violating of sexual boundaries as an adult. Wherever you fall is where you fall. It can be something totally different. For example, hot and cold behavior. When you have sex with someone afterwards, they hurt you emotionally by rejecting you, by neglecting you, by ghosting you, things like that. There are many different reasons. There are many different reasons. I'm hearing that Strong needs to say, know that these things are about them, not about you. And these experiences are no reflection on your inner worth and on your value. Now is the time to be trusting, trustful, and loyal to yourself. Be loyal to yourself. Put yourself first. If you don't put yourself first, who will? Again, when it comes to sexuality, many divine feminines are having challenges. In order to clear those challenges, what is necessary is to clear, to heal, to transcend trauma, pain, betrayal, abandonment, confusion, abuse, all these things from past lives and from our present life, heal all these things surrounding sex and sexual expression. That is necessary at this time. Yes, your divine partner, your person can join you on that journey at some point. Nevertheless, it is essential in the meantime, it is essential now to work on clearing and healing these quorum wounds, these parts of yourself. I feel as though should your divine masculine come in, your divine masculine will be very nurturing, perhaps very protective because they're going to know and they're going to experience and they're going to understand what you have encountered, what you have faced recently. If you've been in pain, they're going to know that. And they're going to want to mitigate that and heal you. They're going to want to love you. Divine Feminine work on relieving stress in healthy ways. Being healthy. Clearing past trauma. Clearing past imprints. And becoming the best possible version of yourself. The version of yourself that already has what it is that you seek. What it is that you desire. And it's essential for you to make the changes. Do not resist change. Also release addictions to people, places, and things. Could be codependency. Could also be substances. Again, people, places, and things. It's time to heal that. Heal those addictions. Heal that addiction. You can do sound healing, light language. There are many different ways to assist you in that. I'm not a medical doctor. If you need medical assistance, especially if you're one who is addicted to alcohol or alcohol and benzos, alcohol and pills, it's essential for you to see a medical doctor in order to safely detox. Nevertheless, um, if there's something that needs to be removed from your life, this can be a person, this can be an energy, this can be programming. It's time to move forward past that in order to step into your best self. And I feel like this is a mirror energy between the divine masculines and the divine feminines because I felt just now like I was talking to the divine masculine and I had to come back and remember this is the divine feminine reading or that's what was, that's what I was reminded of. 
Divine Feminines, focus on yourself first. Focus on your healing. Focus on your creativity. Focus on living your best life. Focus on yourself first. If you are putting too much energy outward, thinking about the person, fantasizing about the person, putting your energy in, into this person, put it back onto yourself. And you'll start to see positive outcomes manifest for you. And that is so important. If you are one who wants to stay in the same energy, if you are one who is not willing to change, then you will not come into union at this time. And that is something that must be accepted and, you know, taking responsibility for. When I said take responsibility for that, for their desire to stay the same, for their desire not to drop into their heart space. For their desire to not align with the twin flame union and what it entails. Or those acting out of ego, all these things. Should you be coming from these places, union is not possible for you at this time. It's not until you're willing to do the work, you're willing to step up and do what it is that is necessary. Remember, you're going from the caterpillar to the butterfly right now. And in divine time, you're going to come out of that cocoon to be the best version of you. Light language can be very beneficial for you. EFT can be very beneficial for you, emotional freedom technique. Sexual healing is definitely needed. Be open about that. In order for your counterpart to take their time on you. And please you as well. Set your intentions for what it is that you want. Write these things down. Write these things down. And read them two to three times a day to anchor them into your subconscious. So that's all I have for you for this channeling. Please like and subscribe, especially if this resonates with you, or just to give me an A for effort. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. I wish you the best of luck in this shift that you're making right now in aligning with your best self. You got this, Divine Feminine. You've come a long way, and you deserve the positive changes that you are stepping into. You deserve the positive new life that you're stepping into. You deserve to ascend onto a higher timeline where you have already received your desires. It's time and things are going to feel great. So enjoy Divine Feminine. You'll be able to get over any hurdles and what's on the other side is more beautiful than you can ever imagine.